Alright, ladies and gentlemen, White Wolf NLD is your host here. And as promised, after 20 likes, I was gonna reveal how exactly in the world I managed to make that kill. And get that st really stupid and funny score. So, yeah, I'm gonna talk you right through it. First thing you're gonna do is go straight into the toilets here on the right. There's a security guard, but he shouldn't be bothering you. Just walk past him and act like you're taking a piss. You know. He's gonna take a hike. Then we're gonna drop the suitcase and prepare our sedative syringe. Put it away immediately because there's another dude going or already there as you can see. And we're gonna wait till a worker comes in. A handyman in a green overall. Shouldn't be too long until he comes. And there he is. I'll wait till he does his business. Sneak up on him. Hit him with the syringe. Then we're gonna drag him towards the bin. Now I'm gonna take his clothes. Pick, pick the guy back up. And throw him in there. And very important, close the lid. You can leave your stuff in there for now, it's safe. Then we're going to the other side, exactly. And what we're gonna do right now is set up our kills. There is actually two targets in this mission and we're gonna make sure that we get them both. Now you need to wait till the painter starts moving. When he goes through that door, that is your cue so it's safe to pick the lock. Do not try to pick the lock before it, because they will spot you. Then immediately the first door on your right is uh, gonna have a stair, a stairway. Head up there. Then we're going immediately left again in a, to another stairway. Now when you get through this door you have to be quite fast because there's a guard and another handyman so if you stay there too long they can spot you. Go into this office, take the Lightroom keycard. That already takes care of the first kill. That's already set up now. And as you can hear there's some nice opera music since this is actually the rehearsal of an opera. And if you manage to do it all in the same timing that I was keeping here, you should be fine. Because there is actually another handyman walking around here. And yeah, since he's not... He is coming into this room where we're headed. But if you did it in the same time, you should be fine. Now you're gonna place a bomb here. And there you have it. Now we have upgraded our... Or upgraded, set up our second kill. Now what you're gonna do, or wanna do, is get all the way back. So we're going to the toilets again. <laughs> so yeah, just double back. As you can see now, this is what happens on the stage. Which is already an opportunity by itself, but... When I do the playthrough for uh, Hitman 4 Blood Money, you will see that. So we'll get back to that another time. Now, you can take back your stuff, the suit and your suitcase. And as you can see, my meter went all the way up, but... I didn't get noticed or anything as you clearly can see at the end, so don't worry about it. We're 
going up here. And right in this corner, here's the room that you're going to use the light key for, the card. Just to be safe, stay away from the door opening so the guard that patrols won't spot you. And now it's time for our first skill. We're gonna set it up. Now this is just preparation. Now from here on out it's actually a waiting part because they rehearse three times total. Twice they're doing the long part and after that the, only the last part of the rehearsal. Now you're gonna wanna be, wanna be very careful with uh, standing here because on your left as you will see in a little while there's gonna be a guard walking. And my advice to you guys is crawl or crouch down when he patrols there. Well, right now I'm just measuring up. See what angle is the right angle for me to shoot at. And other than that it's mostly a waiting job. Pretty soon you're gonna hear a bell ring and that's the cue for the actors to get back on the stage. Let me know in the comments if you like these videos and the funny kills with the like uh, rewards. If you want me to keep doing it, please tell me. Then I will be sure to make, keep making these crazy kills and hyping up stuff like that. I enjoy doing this kind of things for you guys. Also, if there's any contracts in Absolution or Hitman 2016 that you want me to play, I am owning an Xbox 360 and an Xbox One, so on those versions of the games I can actually fulfill your contracts. Okay, well, there's the bell. Pretty soon you're gonna see the actors come back on the stage. Or first in front of the station, then they move up. So yeah, there they're coming already. Yeah, always keep a watchful eye because it is kind of tricky with the guard that can patrol there. Lucky thing is the guard does not have a key to this light room so we're safe here. Now this, this is the guy that we actually need to kill. The guy that's gonna stand against the pole like he's about to get executed. You will see the guy there with the paper and the pistol that is do doing the execution in the play. And we're gonna make use of that opportunity. So yeah, now they're doing some nice screaming and opera music. I'm not too keen on that, maybe you guys are, but I'm definitely not. I like my guitars in my bass. Actually, I like a lot of music. But opera is definitely not one of them. Also, there is an episode for a blacklist on the way, episode 4. It's coming either tonight or tomorrow early. I'm also working on the next uh, two parts for the Hitman playthrough. 
since we're already going towards the end of Hitman 2 Silent Assassin. Uh, at this point, as you can see, I'm just basically keeping my aim so that I can immediately shoot the guy when it's necessary because at this point I wasn't exactly sure about the timing yet. I know it's right after the, the opera music starts going crazy. Yeah, we're getting closer towards the kill now. Actually, I want to take this time uh, to thank each and every single one of you guys. I love you guys to death. I really appreciate all the likes, the comments, and how the Wolf Nation is slowly becoming bigger and bigger. Still gives me like a surreal feeling. But nevertheless, I'm extremely grateful and I hope we can keep the success going. And like I'm always saying, please don't be shy to comment. I try to respond at every single comment I receive from you guys. And now we're getting close to the kill. Now the clue is that we're gonna shoot him when he's getting executed by that other soldier, the actor. So, now. Immediately stash away your sniper rifle again. And it does not count as a kill for you. Not until after this mission. For everyone it looks like he shot him, so the kill is not on you. And that's the trick to how I made a shot without getting a kill. Now they're gonna stop the music because they're gonna be like, hey, what the hell is he doing on the ground? And then goes the funny part, you're gonna see a split screen and the guy, our second target actually, is gonna go completely ape shit. There he is, he's like, oh my god, what is going on? And he's actually gonna run down towards them. Which is gonna be the best part because right where I'm looking downstairs where you see the people running, he's gonna trip. And if you guys remember, we placed a little bomb upstairs, so there. One, two, squashed like a bug, which counts as the second accident. And now all you need to do is get the fudge out of there. So there we go, and escape the mission. And that's the trick. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. It was certainly fun for me to do for you guys. And here you can see it, it's exactly the same statistic screen that I showed you guys. One shot fired, one shot hit, but no kill. And that's because everyone thinks at that time that the guy that shoots him is the killer. And the perfect silent assassin rating. And uh, about half a million bucks earned. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Keep it keep it safe, keep it real, keep it real. Peace out.